So far apart. <laughs> Afternoon, everyone. We've got Grace and Chiara here. Um, Anton, we'll start with you. Grace, Chiara, nice to see you. <laughs> well, welcome. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Hope this isn't too weird and intimidating. <laughs> um, I don't know who wants to go first, but look, obviously, the obvious question is: How does it feel to be sitting here, uh, part of a senior squad? Oh, I'll go first. I think yeah, it's just amazing. I think I don't think it's anything that no one of us expected to be so soon called up obviously the season started like four weeks ago but yeah I think we both made good starts to the season and yeah it's just so surreal to be here to be honest yeah I agree with Kiara you know obviously you dream when you're a little girl and like she said it's very soon but just taking it in your strap but it's an unbelievable feeling Grace talk to me about what it's like to receive that call <laughs> Well, we actually both missed the first call, which is embarrassing. And obviously, Cena must have been thinking these youngsters. But um, then when I seen a call the second time, I could see a profile picture. And it was obviously seen, and I was like, wow. Like, you know, you just don't expect it. You know, sort of speechless. And then when she told me I'd be joining them and stuff like that, you know, it's, um, yeah, it's just back to that feeling of just, Wow. I have two follow-up questions to that then. One, why did you miss the call? And, and two, what does Serena Beekman's profile picture look like? Is it like... Is it, <laughs> I've is had it that question like a few times post? today, honestly. Um, I missed the call because right where I live, there's literally no signal. So um, it doesn't come through. But then if you call me on WhatsApp, so anyone that wants to call me, call me on WhatsApp, because <laughs> that's how it comes through. Um, and a pitch is just quite a serious one here and, you know, the England kit, you know, playing it cool. <laughs> of course it is. Yeah. Of course it is. All right, what was it like, though, when you got that call? Um, obviously, Grace mentioned, but I missed it as well. I was driving and then, obviously, I've gone back on my phone and I've seen Serena's pitch. I was like, maybe I should call her back to see what she wants. And then, yeah, obviously, she delivered the great news and, yeah, I was just buzzing. Well, we saw you training today with Mary Earps. How does that feel to be training with and competing against the keeper that is currently seen as the best in the world? Yeah, obviously, she's so good. Like, she's proven to everyone over, like, this past year that she is so good and the best in the world and she can achieve anything. And obviously, it's a bit surreal that I am here with her. But obviously, training with Ellie and Sandy during the week, it, like, steadies the nerves a bit more because they're two brilliant keepers as well. And look, obviously, we can talk a lot about representation in the game this week. Should you, or when you make your debut, either now or at some point, you will be the first player of colour to play in goal mm -hmm. for the Lionesses. How does that feel and how much of an important moment is that, considering we talked about the history of black goalkeepers in the past? Yeah, obviously, I think it's important for anyone to make the debut, but obviously, coming from a background of colour, there's not many of us. I think we're starting to see a rise, and I'm just happy that I could be an inspiration to, obviously, anyone out there that's thinking, um, maybe I will get judged, or maybe it's not for me, but, yeah, I feel like I'm just grateful to be in a position where I can be a role model to them people. Grace, I'm interested to know what it's been like for you um, for the start of this season. You've gone out, gone out on loan. How much are you enjoying it? A lot, you know. Um, it was something I was big on in the summer, getting that loan to go and just play and, you know, experience and get confidence. And since I joined Tottenham, that's all the manager's given me, confidence to express myself, be me, create, and um, I'm really enjoying like the life in London, Tottenham, my teammates, the manager, um, I'm really feeling myself and I like that. And what about that goal, the screamer? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, we put in a really good performance, so to get that goal was really rewarding because we definitely deserved that win, so yeah, it was nice. So it's, it, it's your performances that's got you this call up in Cara as well, you've been in goal at Manchester City. How much confidence did you gain by getting the the nod to be in goal at the start of the season? Yeah, I think I'm always going to be grateful for Gareth for obviously giving me the chance to show what I'm about. And obviously in the past, 
there's been times where I haven't been able to show that because there's better competition out there. But I feel like he said in pre-season that it's going to be a clean slate and it's going to be for what, like, the decision is going to be what's best for the team. I think, yeah, I'm just grateful that he's given me the opportunity and now I'm here. And how much easier is it for you? I'm guessing it's easier that when you come into this environment, you know quite a few of the uh, <laughs> yeah. teammates. Yeah. Obviously, all the girls are lovely, but having the people that I see every day, like more than most of my family members, is, yeah, it's quite comforting. And, Grace, the journey to, to get here, to get this senior international call-up, are there a lot of people on your journey who believe that you would get this far? Um, yeah, definitely. I don't know if they thought it would be this soon, but... Um... There's, there's people, like, I'm lucky to have had so many people that believed in me and for such a young player, I've been at quite a few clubs as well, so I had quite a lot of messages from them, different clubs and staff members and, yeah, I think they believed in me and that's important to have them people in your life. And the same question to you, Kiara, in terms of the people who helped you on that journey and, and how much support you got along the way. Yeah, I think, obviously, everyone can thank like the immediate family like the mums where they're just driving you around the whole world to every evening yeah obviously cooking meals but I think having that good support network has really benefited both of us to get here now go to Tom at the back Hi, both. Thank you for your time uh, and congratulations. Um, Kiara, can I just ask to follow up on what you were saying to Jeff about the pre-season? At what point did Gareth Taylor indicate that you'd be starting to start games and what was that moment like? <laughs> I find out the day before um, West Ham, like when the squad got announced, he didn't really give me any indication that I was going to play till the team got announced and he was like, I told you. But yeah, I didn't know till the day before the game. And how how have you found those, I think, four league games so far? Like, what, How much confidence has that given you? Yeah, I think from the first game in West Ham, I feel like as a team we've grew in confidence. Obviously, coming off a tough result with Chelsea and then carrying it on, I feel like the more you play, the more minutes, the more situations you're in, you're going to gain more confidence anyways, naturally. Thank you. And, and, and Grace, please could I ask you, what was the summer like, like in terms of watching the World Cup? And was there any point when you were thinking, could I be there in the autumn? Like, does it feel like that's come around really quick since watching the World Cup? No, definitely. It's come around really quick. And obviously, in the summer, my only thought was just, I want to play as much football as possible. That's why I really push for that loan, because I'm still young. And I think getting on that pitch week in, week out, especially in the WSL one, is really important for me at the moment so yeah the World Cup was very inspirational to watch of course but yeah that was my thoughts. Where did you watch the final may I ask? I actually watched the final in Brighton yeah just like a you know made a day of it watched the final um, had a nice day yeah but obviously it was disappointing but made the day out of it. Well, uh, good luck in the camp thank you both. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Rachel? Hi, one for you, Kiara. I think, as far as I understand, you went to the London 2012 Olympics, is that right, and watched yep. Team GB. Obviously, this is an Olympic <laughs> tournament. Can you tell us just a bit about your memories of, of that and how that maybe inspired you sitting here right now? Yeah, obviously, my mum pushed me to go, what, not just watch the Olympics, but watch more women's games. I, obviously, I was, it was growing, but I think, obviously, seeing it on such a big stage that an Olympics was just very inspiring and, obviously, just it made me think that that's definitely something that I want to do in the future. So obviously we've had the Euros and the World Cup and it could be another summer of a major tournament. People might be going another major tournament, but obviously it sounds like it was an important experience for you. Yeah, obviously it's huge, but we've got to win the Nations League and obviously qualify to get to the Olympics first. But yeah, it's definitely something that we have in mind. How nice has it been for, to have each other in this moment as well, to have someone else kind of coming in and having the same experience? Really, really nice. Obviously, we've grown up in all the age groups together, so it's, um, yeah, we do know each other quite well. <laughs> so it's nice to come in together. Hi, Kiara Grace, congratulations. Um, Kiara, I just wanted to start off by asking you mentioned your mum there, and I think she's played what, quite a key role in terms yeah. of the journey y you've been on. I mean, j just what was her reaction, and also, your, I guess, your brothers as well, just. Yeah. 
Obviously, she was just super proud of that first one I FaceTimed her after. I've just got off the phone to Serena. She was in denial. She was like, Cara, you're lying. Stop lying. I was like, I won't be in serious. And then she obviously hit the emotional stage where she started crying. She's never going to admit it to anyone that she cried. But, yeah, she did. I think she was just extre extremely proud. And obviously, my brothers see me from, like, on the sidelines at their games to being called up to the seniors, I think, yeah, they're just so, so proud. And the two grassroots clubs you play for, have they been, like, contacting you at all? Or, you know, <laughs> is it Reddish? Yeah, yeah, Reddish Falcons and Ardwick. But, obviously, you just got to remember where you came from. And, yeah, I've, they've just said, well done, we're so proud. And I've just said thank you. Like, it all started there. And for you, Grace, just in terms of, I mean, what does it feel like to make that jump up from, you know, from the seniors as well? I mean, just how does it feel for you? No, it's obviously it's a world-class level that we're at right now, but it feels amazing to be trusted to make that jump. And, um, yeah, it's tough, but it's good and it's a nice challenge. Emily? Hi, both. One to eight, well, both of you, really. Um, you mentioned just then with the coming up with the youth pathways and making that jump. How much does that prepare you to then come into the senior setup? And how important is that having the under-19s, the under-23s to kind of come into the senior setup? Um, so important, you know, they're built there, like the way them schedules are made are built to prepare us as much as possible for this jump. And um, I think, yeah, it was so, so, so important to do that. Yeah, I think on and off the pitch, obviously, the standards that you hold at any youth level, like, and seniors, so, like, getting there on time, like, making sure you got everything is all so important. But, like, when you was little, you used to be like, oh. But then you come here and you see, like, it's a big thing. And, obviously, the way we play as England, on and off the pitch, um, shows in seniors as well. Um, congratulations to you both. Uh, Grace, what's your story of kind of the first person you told after this call-up? And, and for you both, it must be, like, quite exciting, the first people you tell about an international call-up, because, you know, it feels like it's their success as well as yours after they've supported you for so many years. Yeah, 100%. Well, my first call was my mum, because my mum and dad are usually always together, so I thought, oh, but the one time I called, that they wasn't together So at the time. So um, I rang my mum. She was really emotional. She was with me, nan and granddad at the time, so it was nice that they could tell them all at once. She said, like, Kiara is mum. I feel like I'm going to cry. And I think that's when it really hit, like, oh, it's massive. Like, And then um, I rang my dad afterwards, and he's usually can talk a lot, but I think he was speechless himself. He was just like, congrats, girl. Like, you know, um, he's like my biggest fan, but my harshest critic. So to get that out of him was like, you know, a lot. So, yeah. Yeah, the same as Grace. I think everyone was just so shocked. And I feel like even us, I feel like it only became real yesterday when we was in the team meeting and obviously Serena introduced us to everyone and... Yeah, and we seen everyone for that first time. I feel like that was like the pinch me moment where it was like, wow, Grace, we're actually here. But yeah. Okay, well, now you're here. Enjoy it. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Any more questions? Nope, we'll leave it there. Thanks very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.